Chances are the first sound you heard when you woke up today wasn't very pleasant. In fact, I don't know many people who enjoy their alarm clock. That jarring welcome to the day isn't that welcoming. But what if I told you something better is on the way and it's being created in the corridor? Bit of a shock. It's just hate. Pure hate. Pull those covers up. If this is how you feel when the alarm goes off, meet Katherine Hurst of Coralville, an emergency room doctor who never thought she'd be an inventor until she received a flash of inspiration 10 years ago. There was a lightning storm in August that was so bright it woke me up immediately from a deep sleep. Hearst did some research discovering that light is the proper way to wake up because people are designed with circadian rhythms that respond primarily to light and darkness. In medical school, it's kind of, you base your practice off human anatomy and physiology. So what I'm doing is applying that to an alarm clock design. Light Awake is an app that produces a pulsating blue light that Hearst says correctly uses those circadian cycles. Which is light going into the eye, into this part of the brain, which actually lowers your hormone levels of melatonin and cortisol, raises your heart rate, raises your core temperature, and you'll wake up correctly in less time, feeling much better. She's also so including options to connect Light Awake to a home's network and to pair the light with gentle audio. 1.03 p.m. It will tell you the time every minute on the minute. It will also play music that's actually soothing to your brain and it's not jarring or annoying and cause noise pollution. Hearst has two patents on Light Awake which she is still developing with concrete help from the UI Venture School and the Entrepreneurial Development Center. That's really what EDC has become very good at is, is getting them to actually do the things they need to do rather than just hear the things they need to do. Right now, Hearst needs to test Light Awake, and while she is doing that with some Papa John School of Business students, she's inviting you to be involved as well. We're running test subjects right now. You can contact Dr. Hearst through her website or meet her in person at the EDC's Innovation Expo in Coralville this month. It features the largest showcase of entrepreneurs in the state of Iowa, and it's free. We have links to both Expo information and Light Awake at fox28iowa.com.